This is a short demonstration showing Sugar CRM Community Edition installed onto IBM WebSphere Smash from the repository at SugarForge. This demonstration will use the App Builder, although it can also be done using the command line. Let's start by downloading Smash Developer Edition from the projectzero.org site. We accept the license agreement and save the file to the file system. I'm now going to open a command prompt, unzip the smash bootstrap code, then change directory to where I installed the uh, bootstrap and start the app builder using the app builder start command. The first time you start App Builder, it will need to download its dependencies from the repository at projectzero.org. Depending on the speed of your internet connection, this can take anywhere from a few seconds to a minute or so. Once all the dependencies have been resolved, the App Builder will start on port 8070. Next, we need to tell Smash the location of the repository containing the packaged Sugar CRM application. We do this using the zero module group add URL command, taking the URL from the uh, inst installation instructions which can be found on the SugarForge site. We're now going to start using the Smash App Builder. We start a web browser and visit port 8070 on the local host. The App Builder is loading. Now we're going to create an instance of Sugar CRM Community Edition using the template which comes from the repository on SugarForge. What's happening now is that WebSphere Smash is uh, going out to the repository at SugarForge and downloading a pre-packaged copy of uh, Sugar CRM Community Edition 5.1, uh, all packaged up so that it can be used as a Smash application. And this will be uh, unpacked into the local file system, all ready to run. The installation has now completed and we have an instance of Sugar CRM Community Edition uh, located in the, in the local file system. You can see that it's uh, in the directory smash11 test2 uh, under the subdirectory 0. By default the application will run on port 8080 although that can be easily changed and there's a button uh, to start the application running which we'll now do. The green button changes to a red square to indicate that Sugar CRM is now running on port 8080 on the local host. Before we visit the running Sugar CRM instance, let's have a quick look at App Builder. I won't be demonstrating all of App Builder here. There are plenty of videos on the projectzero.org site for that. By clicking on an application's name, I enter the view for exploring and editing that application in this case our Sugar CRM instance. The tabs allow us to edit files, view and edit the dependencies, explore the application and the files within it, and there's a console which gives access to the debug logs and also a command line. We click on the application's URL to visit the running application and we see the familiar Sugar CRM install page. If you're familiar with Sugar you'll have seen these installation and configuration screens many times so I'll skip over them. Once we've configured the application we can log in as an administrator and we'll see the familiar Sugar home screen.
This concludes my demonstration of Sugar CRM install on WebSphere Smash. For downloads, installation instructions and more information, please visit the Sugar for Smash project on SugarForge or the projectzero.org website. Projectzero.org is the incubator for the WebSphere Smash product. Thank you.